Okay, I'm calling this video 13 ways to catch and kill gophers that didn't work for me and then one way that did. And actually, to be honest, uh, a couple of the ways sort of worked and uh, but I'll explain why I did not continue with them. And the way that did work was a DK1 uh, death clutch trap and I have another video where I show exactly how I set that, how I prepare the hole and how I place that and that's been very successful for me when after months and months and months of trying these other things did not work and the second thing is I'm just saying these things didn't work for me you know there there's a reason why a number of them are highly rated on Amazon so they must be working for somebody I'm in Oregon's Willamette Valley I don't know our gophers are different here but especially the ones up by the house that I would try method after method after method and it would do nothing did not work so i wish at that time i had seen a video like this and that's why i'm making it if you've got gophers i empathize with you it is frustrating and angering they create so much damage and they're pretty hard to trap it's not like trapping a mouse where you just leave out a mouse trap with some peanut butter um, as you'll see from this video, I tried a whole bunch of different ways as the gophers were slowly destroying uh, not just the yard by our house, but then about an acre and a half kind of extended yard where it's just devastating. If you're angry and you're frustrated and you're about to give up, don't. But I totally understand if you're kind of angry and you just wish you could grab a gopher and wring its little neck with your bare hands. I've been there. Okay, right away when I saw that we had gophers, up by the house, I did the first thing that you do, I kind of on my next trip to the home improvement store, I just grabbed some standard gopher bait and I put it down a bunch of the holes and it didn't do anything. They just ate it and kept on living. The second thing I tried was road flares and I actually don't have one to show you because I burned them all up. I tried this twice. First of all, with kind of standard road flares like you'd have in the back of your car for safety. And then I went to Walmart and bought like a whole nother set. And then my friend gave me like a giant super smoker road flare. What you do is you light them and you stick the flaming smoking end down the hole. It creates a ton of smoke. You go, you seal off the other holes and it's supposed to asphyxiate. The gophers didn't work. So next, I did the smart thing. I went on Amazon and I looked for the highest rated gopher trap that I could find that had the most success. And that was the, uh, the Victor easy set. You should see how many thousands of people are just trapping gophers left and right with this thing. So I bought a set of four and I tried for months and months, all different ways. I watched all different kinds of videos on how far to put them in the hole, you know, how, how, how to dig it out and put it down there. I tried baiting them with peanut butter and with carrots. Nothing worked. I didn't even get, I, they would be snapped sometimes. I wouldn't even get like hair or anything like it even hurt the gopher or scratch the gopher. Okay, the next thing I tried was this pro style trap that I know that a uh, uh, professional gopher service around here uses. And uh, it's kind of cool, you set it up, it's got, you know, it's not that wide actually, but evidently they, they use them to kill. They killed a bunch at uh, our neighbor's house. So I had a couple of these, I had a like one this big and I had a smaller one, set them, tried it a bunch of different ways, didn't get anything. Okay, the next one, and it, it kind of worked, was this Victor black box. This thing was about 15 bucks. Um, I can't remember where I got it. I think I got it from Amazon too. I, I'd read about it. And I uh, early on, I put it down, I tried it a couple times, and I actually caught and killed a gopher. But then after that, I tried it again and again on all different types of holes that they'd made in different situations. And eventually, I was burying that thing deeper and deeper to try to get it down in their run. And the last time I set it, <laughs> I didn't mark the hole and I have no idea where it is. It is buried out in our yard somewhere. Okay, so I'm back on Amazon and I'm looking, maybe my wife found this, but it was like the most secret recommended gopher bait that's gonna do it. It's this, it comes in a yellow cone, it's Sweeney's gopher bait. It's got, I don't know, it's mixed with, it's got poisoned peanuts, that's what it is. It's got poisoned peanuts, they cannot resist. So I go around, I put these down a bunch of holes and in fact, I don't know if it worked because I, I put it all over the place. All you can see all behind me, I put it in, I put it in holes down there. I put it in the holes up by the house where I kind of I could see day to day how the gophers were doing. It did not poison them at all. So I would say for me, 
This didn't work. However, there may be some gopher way underground somewhere that died as a result, but I couldn't tell. Okay, so my, my Victor black box was buried. So then I, I bought one of these smaller kind of, I'm calling it a tunnel trap. It kind of works on the same principle with a spring that's gonna, you know, get them around the neck. And uh, I don't know what I was thinking. I, 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 I think I tried baiting this thing again too, and I buried it a bunch of different ways. I kept, I was more careful about keeping track where it was. And of course, I did not catch a, a darn thing with it. And it's, it's really kind of skinny. I mean, look how little that is. I'm just thinking you'd have to be a really skinny, really desperate gopher to go in there and get that to snap. So that was a dud. My wife, and she's very helpful trying to help me on this. She goes, hey, you gotta watch this video. There's this guy and he's, he's catching gophers. He said, you'll catch him in like 15 minutes. So what you do, you take a, a standard rat trap, you set the trap, you put peanut butter on the trap and you sprinkle some sunflower seeds and then you set the trap by an open gopher hole, sprinkle some more sunflower seeds around it and put a bucket over that. 15 minutes, the gopher will be up, you hear a snap, because they cannot resist peanut butter and sunflower seeds. And so, well, you can guess what happened. They, nothing, I tried, I tried this thing multiple times. I tried handfuls of sunflower seeds and tons of peanut butter and all these different holes, did not do a darn thing. Later I read that there's been like university research that peanut butter and other baits, that, that other things to draw gophers to the trap do not work. So. The rat trap and the bucket and the peanut butter did not work. So then, I don't know what I was thinking, but I got, I got this, it's a mole trap. It's got spikes that come, that come down if you like hit the trigger. I think I don't know if it's, ah, there it is, ouch. Spikes come shooting down and I don't know what I was thinking. It's not really made for gophers, but I thought it's kind of like a, it's like a medieval torture device. And wouldn't it be great if this went stabbing through one of these gophers I've been having so much trouble killing. But of course, I tried it in some runs. I didn't get anything. So then I went to a different big box home improvement store and I was looking at what they had for gophers and they had these gas bombs. And it's like, wow, it's guaranteed to, to kill gophers. Look at this. So I got a whole package of those and I set off all six of them on my test gophers. The one up by the house did not do a darn thing. I'm getting desperate. I've tried all these different ways and I'm asking everybody I know. I'm, I'm asking complete strangers if they've ever heard of a good way to kill gophers. And you know the number one piece of advice I got is get a 22 and get a lawn chair and sit there and kill them. That's the only sure way is to pick them off with a varmint rifle. So I went on Amazon again, you see a pattern here? And I got the number one rated varmint pellet gun. This thing has the muzzle velocity that's close to a 22. It's got a, it's got a four times scope because I'm a really bad shot and I have to use a scope in shooting things 20 feet away. And so I gotta say, after a lot of watching and waiting and some target practice, I did shoot one. I shot the giant old gopher up by our house who the other 10 methods had not touched. So it felt really good. But after that, I only had a chance at one shot in the months after that. A single shot at another gopher, I missed it. And since then, it's really hard to catch them when they're active. So unless you, you take people's advice and you have a lawn chair and they say, get a cup of coffee and they say, you know, get a pack of camels and just be prepared to spend a couple hours. If you don't have that kind of time, then really the, the varmint rifle is not gonna work for you. And I'm down at our local hardware store talking to the guy, right? And you figure, these people at hardware stores in the country, they must talk to a lot of people that have gophers. Maybe they have an idea of what will work. And so I'm, I'm, I was looking at their gopher trap stuff and he said, oh no, let me tell you what will work. It's incredible. It's a Tomcat plastic rat trap. And you know, you set this thing by doing this and you put that, there's a little bait cup in there and you put some uh, peanut butter in that and you, you put that right by the gopher hole. Is this starting to sound familiar? And you put a bucket over that and that thing will go and it's just gonna get the gopher. So I tried the thing with a bucket. I tried it down in the run and uh, I actually, I did catch a mouse with this one time, but no gophers. Okay, now I'm gonna tell you about a bonus one. This doesn't count as one of the ones that didn't work. It's a, it's a large cinch trap. I think it worked. I think it got a gopher. But I think what happened was that the coyotes then came that night and they took the gopher and the trap and they ran away because I could not, it was, I couldn't find the trap. It's a pretty big 
piece of metal and I know the gopher could not have pulled that underground. So I, I will say that works. I mean, they're 18 bucks a piece and I probably should have anchored it down. Um, but anyway, that was one, at the, it was kind of cost prohibitive for me to, to buy a bunch of those. I'm watching my, you know, 50th video on how to kill gophers and this guy is showing this thing called a, called a DK1 and it's really, it's pretty simple. It just looks like it's made out of about three pieces of wire and a spring and he shows how you set it and it's, it's fairly long. That's kind of one of the things I liked about it. It's got a good wide bite with these teeth and it's kind of long for setting it down on the hole. And I, just for some reason, I thought, you know what? I think this is the thing that's gonna work. And guess what? It did. Within a couple weeks, I'd gotten two gophers. Over the next two months, I had over a dozen gophers using this. It's all been the DK1, and it's been working to kill the gophers for me. I have a whole separate video on how I identify gopher holes and prep them and set this and set this in here. I'm not saying I'm a gopher, a gopher expert at all. I'm just saying that this is what has worked for me and maybe it's dumb luck. But anyway, you can take a look at that other video if you wanna see exactly how I set this and use this. I didn't actually do this, but it was firsthand from a friend, so I'm including it at the end here. You know that thing where you, you, you hook up your car's exhaust you're supposed to gas them out, right? I mean, that's how, unfortunately, that kills people. So you figure that would carbon monoxide would kill the gophers. So I had a friend, he had a huge gopher problem in his hay field. He backs his truck up, gets the tailpipe in there, you know, runs a pipe down into the gopher hole, and he runs that thing for like an hour. Sure enough, the next day, there's gopher mounds and gopher activity. So that's just another one.